Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. It's Project Orchid time. And for those of you who have been around a while, this was a selected set of orchids chosen mainly by me, but some by viewers, um, by popular request, shall we say. And the idea is to regularly update on these selected orchids as we progress through the year. We did our first um, film of these uh, at the start of winter. Um, I did my first set of updates back in March and we're now into May so this will be the second set of updates and the idea is to choose the same plants, film them in the same order and show a picture of what they look like in the previous update. So we'll get regular updates as we progress through the year. So uh, this is part one, let's get going. I forgot to say, I'll put um, the names of the orchids in the description and I'll put a link to the previous corresponding video. So as this is part one, the part one that was done back in um, March with the same set of orchids in the same order, I'll put a link to that video as well. So those of you who may be new, you might want to perhaps watch that one first to see what the plants look like in March and get the feel for the set of orchids in this particular video and then move on to this one which shows them as they are now as we head into May. Right, let's get going <laughs> again. So the first one then is Oncidium sotoannum and when we looked at this last time it had been recently repotted um, some strong new growths there from the centre towards the left, three of them, and some signs of some new growths out to the right at the base you can see there. And what I was hoping for at this particular point in time was a new root system. Um, having repotted it, quite a few of the older roots got trimmed off. I didn't take any of the plant off, I don't think. Um, it's a large plant, it's very vigorous, and it needed a new root system to keep those strong new growths in the centre towards the left going. Um, otherwise, they would probably stall. Um, but the new, growth, new roots were just starting. It seemed to be doing well following its repot. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the blooms on this again, which we should see this year. Um, it's a strong plant and, as I said, incredibly vigorous. Uh, growing well at that time and had done well in the past. I hadn't had this one long at the time, so uh, let's have a look and see what it's like now. Okay, the um, main changes on this, although on the surface it looks almost identical, but the main changes on this one really are in the pot. Following its repot, these new growths here have pushed out a good root system right down into the pot. Now the problem with this plant, it is so vigorous that for one of the first times ever, I've got a few concertina leaves. And that's just basically as a consequence of the repot formed a little bit of a stall while it was in its vigorous growth mode. Um, and the, the, the concertina leaves are basically a consequences of, of like a stop-start mechanism where they're trying to grow at a rapid speed, and this one does grow at a rapid speed, and there's an interruption of some sort, so you get like a kink. Um, but the good thing about on this one, this time round, is we've got another strong growth pushing up here, round the side, and yet another one pushing up here. So what we will get is th these three growths here, one of them is being hidden by these two where they're starting to expand widthways. Um, those will mature virtually together and should be showing some spikes soon. They're not doing it yet, but these should come into bloom soon um, and may well be in bloom by the time we get to the next update. So progress on this is really in the pot. A much better root system now for what is a vigorous plant. Plenty of room for the next set of growths, which aren't going to happen for a while. It's going to bloom first, and then those blooms are going to fade. Then it will think about its next set of growths. But there's plenty of room for them, so it can stay in its pot. Um, so good progress, an expansion of the size of the three new growths. And um, we should see some blooms soon. 
Right, so the next one is uh, Miltonia Sunset. Um, when I came to repot pot this, it was badly infected with Fusarium, so it was chopped to pieces, and I ended up with three leads, both with two pseudo bulbs and a new growth. Um, this hadn't been long potted, I was waiting for a root system, and it had just sort of started getting going. Um, new growths, one off to the left, hiding under that leaf, <laughs> one off to the right, and one round the back. So three separate plants this is, um, in the smallest pot I could get them in. Um, Oncidium types, which a Miltonia is, seem to grow better that way. So let's see the progress on this one. Right, this one, the Miltonia Sunset, is making good progress. Considering it was quite seriously infected with Fusarium, it's growing well. Um, this is the view we had last time. A new growth here is pushing on nicely up the side, as is this one. There's another one round the back. And its main progress, again, is in the root department. Um, the new growths are progressing, starting to create their bulbs at the base. And the root growth on this is extensive, so I'm well pleased. And the root tips are not dying back, so it's growing clean now. We've got another little one at the back, a little new growth, that's um, not progressing as well. This is three pieces, each with two back bulbs and a new growth. That was selected from the um, what was quite a giant plant until it was uh, repotted and the discovery was made. So it's coming on. This one's a bit behind the other two, but the two at the front are growing on nicely. Um, I would be very surprised if those two new growths don't bloom. They should do. And um, they may not produce the best of spikes, because they haven't got the backup of the large plant that it once was. But I suspect they'll bloom. We should see those down the line. Coming on nicely, that one. I'm well pleased with its progress, considering its start. Um, another one of the giants, um, the Shelob Tolkien, is, is, is quite honestly a massive plant. And um, when we looked at it last time, um, had two strong new growths coming out, one to the far left and one pointing towards the left. Again, this hadn't long been repotted, so I was um, thinking about doing it. And um, actually, this one hadn't been repotted at the time. That was coming soon. Um, but I was waiting really to see some new roots coming off of those new growths to, to get the timing right. So uh, let's see what happened to this one. A bit drastic. I've tried to position this one in a similar fashion to what we looked at last time. But obviously we, with the Shelob Tolkien we have a dramatic change on the grounds that this was repotted and split. And the other part of the plant is no longer with me. That went off to somebody else. Um, but at the time we filmed it last time, the two new growths were hanging out to the left of the main plant. Um, this is the plant part of the plant that I kept. Um, the two new growths are progressing well, and both of those new growths have spikes. So we should get some blooms relatively soon on those. Um, both of those new growths have got to the point where their spikes are progressing before the new roots came out. So not all Oncidiums produ types produce their new roots with the new growths. And it does pay to know these differences. Um, I knew the new roots were coming soon, so it was a good time to split it, get it settled in its pot, ready for the new growths to go down into the new media. So um, we're effectively starting with a new plant from this update, um, which is part of what was a large plant. Um, but this one will progress nicely now, we'll see the blooms down the line, and um, we will see a pot full of roots now. They've started. Yes, they're underway. Um, the other roots are tucked in under here. Um, but they're underway, so we will get a pot full of roots to go with those new growths. And um, those will then support the spikes, which are coming soon. So that's that one. Now this is one of my twinkles, recent acquisition, well it was last year anyway, and it was quite a large plant for a twinkle. Um, and I decided to mount it. I don't mount that many twinkles, but I am trying some. And um, this one hadn't long been mounted. There were signs of new growths. If you look at the very base, you can see some little tiny green tips showing. Um, and 
Basically, it needed time to settle down on that mount. It had some reasonable roots in under that moss, but they won't attach. It has to be new roots to start attaching to the mount. So, uh, let's see how that one got on. Um, as I say, a bit, disturb bit of disturbance. Right, the um, twinkle on its mount hasn't been on its mount a huge amount of time, but its new growths are geared up to being on the mount rather than in the pot, so the roots should uh, get going and attach. And as far as new growths are concerned on this plant, um, we've got one round here, one here, we've got two here, and then if you look up round the back of the plant, as well as up through the middle, there are several in the middle of the plant, We've got a nice group of three up the top of the plant. Um, they're pushing on nicely. And there is quite a lot of active root growth going on. It's, it's obviously threading its way through the moss. Um, it will be fully attached soon. Um, but yes, we do have a lot of new growth on here. And there, um, given that the two up the top there are up there, they're at the largest and the furthest advanced. So they'll be the first to bloom and then they'll be followed by quite a few others together. Yeah, this one down the, around the side here is also at about the same stage as the ones at the top. Yeah, so we should have three or four new growths maturing together, which will bloom, and then another two or three to follow on behind, and that should give us a nice staggered blooming this time. Um, Blooming on this one will be a long way off. Those growths have got to mature, then produce their spikes, and spikes on twinkles take a long time to grow and form their buds and finally open. So we'll probably be looking at the autumn before we see the blooms on this one. But I'm very pleased with its progress. It seems to like its mount and it's taking off really well. Now this one was a gift, this is Miltonia Summer Glory and um, at the time it hadn't long been repotted, it was producing a mass of new roots and um, on reflection looking at that picture this was potted a bit high but it's got a habit of climbing away um, and if I tried to get that new growth down at the base of the media the other pseudobulbs would have been buried quite deep which is not on because you often get rotting at the base especially when there's leaves attached um, so it was potted a little high but nonetheless at the time it had a, a good lot of new roots some of which should have gone down into the pot um, that was the plan and if a few stayed out so be it so let's go and have a look and see how this did Right, so this one's playing silly bees, um, which is a trait of some of the Oncidium types, and the Miltonias seem to be a bit prone to this particular trait. The trait is that the new bulbs come up higher than the previous ones, so they sort of climb away from their pot, which is a nuisance because it can end up losing you some roots. But progress on this one, the new growth that we looked at last time has matured, and is now starting a new one. So we've now got a second new growth here. And this new growth is too far away from the pot. Yeah? So some of these roots are drying off, but it's still producing more, and a good few of them are getting down into the pot. They haven't all, all gone down the side of the pot. There's a big bunch of them there gone straight down in the middle. They will come out lower down in the pot as they progress. Um, there's no reason why this growth shouldn't bloom, but there's no sign of spikes yet. It's getting to maturity, and it's not as large as the previous two. But then the disturbance of a repot can often do that. Um, if, they, if the timing's absolutely perfect and the conditions are good, there shouldn't be any disturbance. But there was a bit on this one. Um, but nonetheless, we've got a second new growth coming now, and one reaching maturity that could still well bloom but we'll have to wait and see on that and the root progress is good um, good enough for what's actually growing on here so uh, uh, I'm okay with this one but I just wish it wouldn't climb um, might have to do something about that but uh, now is not the time but coming on and this is my little um, Neo Finesha now Vanda not in my grow room it's not and um, it had recently been potted up 
in the sort of Japanese style. So underneath that moss is a tiny little um, plastic open basket upside down with moss put over the top and then the roots that I had were spread over that and then lots more moss were round, wound round the whole thing forming a mound and it just sits on the top of that clay pot. It's not potted in it, it just sits on the top. And um, I was hoping it didn't disturb it too much. The roots were uh, okay, I wouldn't say they were brilliant and the plant hadn't been growing that well at all. So let's look at it now. Now it's more difficult to see progress on this one um, but the fans have increased in size and the way really to compare it is looking back at the picture this fan here is bigger and the plant relative to this aerial root hanging out is bigger the whole thing is bigger but the real progress on this is going on up in the plant we do have a mass of roots coming on really nicely now so I think it prefers this way of growing um, I mean these ro roots are relatively new they've started in the last sort of month or so and even some of the older roots are branching out now and starting to grow I mean this this was effectively look, look like a dead root and it's now started to grow with a nice new root tip so we've got a lot of new roots on here and that should put a lot of strength into this plant um, and get some new fans going because at the moment I don't really see new fans I see existing ones have got larger and a good new root system starting so I think this one should pick up um, you know we're getting into the long days and everything it's going to be happier with its growing conditions um, it's had its cool down in the winter now I think this one should progress nicely and this has got lovely variation on the leaves it looks really attractive as a consequence rather than plain green I still like the green ones but um, we may get blooms on this later in the year on some of the mature fans um, I'm not holding out for those I'll be happy if it grows into a much larger plant this year and then waits till next year but if we get some blooms so be it but um, certainly with the root growth on this one it's coming out from all places and a good few of those new roots should get down into the moss well down into the pot which will keep it more hydrated obviously but coming on well and um, yeah I think uh, next time we'll start from that view where we can see the progress of all those roots next time round Right, I've been playing with this um, Alisara for years, <laughs> trying to get it back into growth and eventually to bloom. The reason being those blooms. It's always been a weak plant. It's never grown strongly, this one. Um, it probably had Fusarium. I'm not sure. I don't remember ever proving it, but um, it just didn't have any vigor in it anyway it was put in some nice new media not long before this shot and um, I had a single new growth on there that hadn't matured properly um, I wasn't sure at this point whether it even would but what it desperately needed was some new roots out of that new growth or another new growth to produce a better root system so that's the that was the plan at this point in time and not all things go to plan but you've got to have a plan haven't you you know you've got a plan for what's going to happen next now this one's got very little visible progress as well the progress on this one is that this growth is matured yeah I don't think that bulb will get too much bigger it's a tiny little bit smaller than previous ones but not a lot I'm, I'm pleased um, this this plant struggled for quite a long while um, quite probably was infected in its early days but just um, I'm hoping that new growth is clean if it was um, that was one of those never proven <laughs> um, but nonetheless we've got no sign of new growths and it doesn't look like any new roots have come out from here but they have they've, they've come out in there so we do have new roots against this new growth it still hasn't got a good root system not by a long way and I suspect the best root system will come from the next new growth whenever that starts 
There are some swellings around the base, so it is possible a new growth is thinking about coming on soon. I'll have to keep my eye out on, uh, on these sheaths at the bottom, because this is where they'll come from, right down in there. Yeah, there is one there, look. You can just see the new growth starting on the end of my finger. Um, there might even possibly be two, because there is a swelling around here. But um, yeah, so the progress on that is the maturing of the bud and the start of some new roots. It needs a much better root system than it's got, so we'll see, see where we are in, uh, in a few months' time. Um, that new growth may or may not bloom. It's one of those with only one back bulb with leaves. If it does try and spike, I'll probably take the spike off and push for the next new growths to push on strong. Um, I do that sometimes. I sacrifice the blooms for the sake of the plant, and this may well be one of those. If it spikes, of course, it may not. Now, the progress on this one was hoping for that new growth coming out sort of from the centre of the pot heading off towards the right there to progress and mature. That's what I was after. Oh, look at those blooms. <laughs> uh, I really, if I ever lose this plant, I will go out and find another one. It's just such, when the blooms come, they're just so good. Um, but this hadn't long been repotted, and it was, um, it had a reasonable root system when it was repotted, and some new ones were coming off of that new growth. So um, I was pleased as it was then, but I was looking for that new growth to mature because um, that is its only chance of blooming. The previous two bulbs had already bloomed. Now, this is one of the, uh, one of the biggies. <laughs> um, uh, if all oncidium types were this big, I'd have a lot less. Um, this one does grow into quite a giant. Um, leaves are 14, 16 inches long in places, and the pseudo bulbs, you know, are a good four inches tall. Um, that makes for a tall plant, basically. But it's a very robust plant, and um, I keep this one because of its spike and its blooms, um, rather than the plant itself, because it is a bit of a giant. But last time we looked, we had a progressing new growth. Well, what we've got now is a, a virtually mature new growth. Not quite as big as the previous two, but again, when you split a plant and repot it, the following new growth is often not as large. Sometimes it's bigger, it depends what state the plant was in when you treated it like that. But what we've got here is quite a few new growths, uh, sorry, roots, have actually progressed and started to fill the pot up. So we've now got a good root support system for that growth. I would like it to bloom. And every growth I've had on this plant so far has actually bloomed. But what I can't remember is how mature the bulb has to get before the spike starts. So um, we may get a bloom on that latest growth. I would hope so, but there's certainly no sign of a spike yet. But uh, we'll wait and see. So uh, we'll see how that one's doing next time round. Hopefully we'll be able to see a spike by then. I doubt if it'll be in bloom by the next update, but we shall see. But um, good root system now and a nice strong bulb. As I say, not quite as big as previous, but um, nonetheless not bad. Now, when we looked at this last time round, we had six spikes, and um, one of them was just coming into bloom. Um, and because of the colours and the, the, the sort of pom-pom effect on the top, I was looking forward to all of these um, opening up. Um, I can't remember whether I'd just repotted it at this time, or whether it was due. I'd probably just done it on the grounds that the blooms were forming. Um, and the important thing to look at now is the colour of those leaves. This plant, at this point in time, looked pretty good. Now let's have a look. The main difference on this one is that it's now fully in bloom. And um, I've had trouble with this plant. Um, it was up against the glass when the shade netting was on. And I think the strength of the sun was um, greater than I thought for this plant anyway. Um, Basically the whole plant went this colour and I thought I was going to lose it. It was going downhill despite being in bloom. The plant wasn't doing well at all. Now it started to colour up again. 
um, moved it away from that bright light and obviously my shade netting's on so it seems to be improving but um, at the moment I've got no signs of new growth anywhere at the base and um, quite a few of the aerial roots on there don't look too good and I don't have a good root system on this anymore now maybe later in the year it will pick up um, it's probably going to produce its new root, uh, new growths later in the year when the blooms start to fade. We shall see. I mean, this has been out in bloom since well, January, I think, <laughs> and it's still got plenty of buds. If you look at the apex of this, there's still a few tiny buds that may not develop, but at the apex of this, we've still got plenty of buds to go. Yeah, they, they just keep forming at the top, and then eventually they stop and the remaining blooms die off and that's the end of your spike but we do, we do have a funny thing happening here this is one of last year's blooming spikes where the spike was cut off and that's branched out with another spike um, but the plant's not looking as good as it used to let's put it that way um, it's certainly not as healthy looking as a plant but we've got the blooms and hopefully the plant can recover I mean, uh, in their natural environment these things grow like flipping weeds you know they're growing outside in the ground and that they form a huge bush with a mass of blooms on top they can look quite spectacular but in my environment it's not doing as well as it once did um, <clears throat> we shall see how it progresses anyway but I'm enjoying the blooms at the moment that's the good bit Now this is one of my infamous non-bloomers. As a Bulbophyllum it's grown incredibly well. Um, I think there were four new growths all pushed out lovely lovely strong leaves and a good looking plant but not a light. Now at this point when I filmed this there were some tiny little green bits showing at the base of some of the pseudo bulbs and I crossed everything thinking maybe now it's going to bloom. Um, it's plenty big enough. It's more than big enough to actually bloom, but so far it just hasn't done it. So uh, let's have a look and see what happened with those tiny little green bits. Now the non-blooming Bulbophyllum Wilbur Chan, Chang is still a non-blooming <laughs> Wilbur Chang. Um, when we looked at this last time I had a feeling there was something growing near the base of some of the bulbs. Um, those, whatever they are, have grown on quite well. Especially this one here. But quite honestly that looks like a growth to me. That does not look like a spike. Now it's developing that looks like a leaf to me. So what I thought may have been three, four, five flower spikes, I think are all new growths. So that's going to dramatically increase the size of the plant. Um, but I haven't had it long uh, uh, compared with some of my other orchids. I don't know where the bloom spikes come from. I presume they come from the base of mature bulbs. But what's happening with the mature bulbs at the moment looks like growths to me. Got one here, one here, one here, and then there's, uh, there's another one round the back up against the side of the pot. So four of whatever they are, are at least growing. <clears throat> but they don't look like spikes to me, quite honestly. They look like another set of new growths, yet another set of new growths, still non-blooming. I don't know what else I can do with this, <laughs> but it's certainly growing into a nice big strong plant. I mean, I've got um, one yellowing leaf here. That's, I think, the oldest leaf on the plant. And this is a very old leaf that was damaged when I got it that I trimmed just to make it look tidy. But apart from that, it, it's got pretty good leaves on it, and it looks like it's going to get a new set of leaves. Um, we shall see. Only time will tell, but certainly looking at the most advanced that looks like a growth to me that looks like a new leaf coming out still we wait and see now zygos and me don't go together <laughs> it's just the way it is this um Luisendorf was in bloom um last time we looked at it but irrespective of those blooms that is not a happy plant lost some leaves um Shriveled pseudo bulbs produced two new growths, 
out of the side of the pot, so you can see the roots hanging out the side, one of which actually bloomed, which I was well pleased about. I think that was my first ever zygo spike that I'd grown myself. But it was pretty obvious at this time that plant was far from happy and that media in the pot looked like it was getting very old. Well, you we went from a plant in bloom to a total disaster. Which is the story for me with zygos. That's, that's just the path they follow. <laughs> I'm hoping that this one's going to not follow the path to its final end. But we shall see. It had been in its pot too long. But because it was um, producing a spike and everything, I left it. Yeah, wrong. Well, probably wrong. Difficult to tell. Um, but eventually I did take it out of its pot and it naturally formed two plants with the two, the two new growths one on each from last time we looked at it, one of which was in bloom. Um, that was the spike. So that was the new growth at the time. Now, since it's been repotted, it is trying to produce some <laughs> new roots. It's not doing it very well, but at least it's trying. So this one may well recover. It hasn't gone downhill any further, um, but it's not doing well. And the other piece with the new growth, which didn't bloom, um, I still don't see any roots forming on that one. The old pseudo bulbs on this were badly desiccated. That hasn't changed. They're not going to plump up. You know, um, when bulbs get that desiccated, they're not coming back, basically. That's not going to happen. You've got to catch them before they get that far. And then they may well plump up. So what we've got now is where there was one plant, there's now two. Yeah, but I'm taking it back to only one. I'm not going to follow the progress in the projects of both of these. So, for obvious reasons, I'm going to pick what appears to be the better one. So this will be the one we'll revisit next time we do an update. Yeah, I'm not going to follow both of them. It extends the video and all that sort of stuff. So, bit of a disaster on the Zygo front, but for me, that's nothing new. <laughs> but all I can say with these two is not dead, not dead yet and the possibility of a recovery. I'm not that happy with that one. But we'll see what it does. You know, the leaves haven't all fallen off, so we'll see how we go. Um, so that's that one. Okay, so that was um, update two, part one. And obviously parts two, three, and four will follow with you know, the, the, the relevant plants for those uh, individual uh, videos and I'll go the same format again in, with the other three parts, put the names of the plants and put a link to the video prior to that one. Uh, that's the fogger just come on. Typical. And tomorrow we'll have a chat about this little beauty and a couple of others that have opened in the quiet time. See you next time. <laughs>